Hey y'all, eight more days. Now I'm getting a little motivated. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a couple things I did inside to make things a little better. And then we're going to do a switcheroo potty review, okay? So here's the thing, one of the things I did is, I don't know if you can see it or not, this little pink hook right here, which is a command hook. I can pull the tab and it'll come off and I can reposition it, which I've already had to do once, okay? I put it there because I have my backpack and I'm not hanging it so much as when I open the back door, I just don't want it to fall out, okay? So that makes it, you know, more secure. The other thing I did was I used another one of those command hooks, same principle. My lawn chair is not hanging from it, but when I open the back door, it's not going to fall out on the ground and break or embarrass me, really. Okay, now on to the potties. This one is your standard Lugaloo potty, okay? It's a five gallon bucket. It's got this lid. Um, it's got the um, seat part that kind of snaps onto the bucket, which is really handy. It's about uh, 15 inches across, I think. I measured it and I've already forgotten. Now, the lid fits right there. It snaps on. But let me tell you what happens. If you use your potty more than once, okay, and you put your lid down because you're not ready quite to dump it yet, and then, oh my gosh, your 61-year-old bladder and kidneys are yelling for you to go again. So, you come back here to the potty area, you raise the lid, you sit down, the lid falls on your back and it's all wet under there. Because why? Your pee pee is warm. It hits the cool lid and it makes condensation. But what that reminds me of is it makes me feel like I'm getting pee all over my back. That's unacceptable, unacceptable. So I took it off. I can take it completely off and then I can put it back on and I can take it completely off again when I want to use it. So that eliminates that, folks, okay? Now this is a five gallon bucket right here. It's pretty tall um, and pretty wide. My space back here is pretty small. It used to have one of those big square um, toilets in here. But I guess the owner took it out, which I am so happy for. If there's one thing I'll spring for cash on, and that is a new potty used only by me. So I got this thing. It's um, Reliance Hasek Portable Toilet. I just spit on my screen, y'all. Anyway, um, it has this lid right here. And it comes off. And you can see it's pretty... It's pretty deep. It's a pretty big lid. Then there was a plastic piece that sit right on here that had a little indention in it, and that's where you set your toilet paper. Now, that's a pain in the butt, if you ask me. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, so now, this one has the seat right here, which you can see is very wiggly so when I was using this one I put some packing tape on the sides to keep it from slipping and me having a heart attack thinking that I was gonna fall on the floor so you take this piece off like that and then inside here you have this nice little bucket okay you have this big round plastic hassock, okay? Takes up quite a bit of room. 
So I'm going to throw that out. Now this is what I've done to make it usable, more usable for me. This is a smaller bucket. I don't know how big it is, but it's not five gallons. It's a little less tall. You can see. Let's move that stuff over. Sorry, y'all. One-handed is not easy, as you well know. Okay. So now we're looking at the buckets. You can see the Hasek bucket is shorter. And it's also smaller around, so it fits the eight gallon bags really good. I don't have to stretch them to the point that they break, like this one, because this one's too far apart. So, this is what I did I took my Hassock bucket, put my Lugaloo lid on it, or seat rather and lid now this is what I'm going to take with me and use the thing about this is it's it's pretty sturdy now it doesn't snap on as well as the um, as it snaps on to the lugaloo but it's good enough that I'm not going to feel like I'm falling off. And I don't have to use any tape, which is wonderful. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do differently is I saw in somebody's video, who was it? Gosh, I wish I could remember and give these people credit for what they're teaching me. But anyway, they put their bag over the whole seat. Now that requires a bigger bag than eight gallons, but I don't care, I'll buy 13 gallon bags, I don't care. Then that protects your seat and your seat is always clean and you don't have to always be cleaning it with germaphobe wipes like I usually do. So anyway, y'all, there's my little plastic bag holder because once I take the bag out of the potty, I put it in a grocery bag, a plastic one, and I tie it off at the tight top Ugh, can't talk really well I like everything to be well contained and I'm very picky about where I leave my waste I don't leave it at restaurants I don't leave it by the front door of McDonald's I don't you know I make sure that I go somewhere and also guys you want to avoid putting your waste in a dumpster that's anywhere near a grocery store or a restaurant and here's why there are lots of hungry people in this world and they go through the trash cans in those areas looking for food which is a whole other topic that I could get really excited about but we won't talk about that uh, in this video anyway so anyway that's it guys for right now you can see I still have I brought more junk in here to tank and I'm trying to sort through and make sure that I'm not taking too much that I don't need so anyway y'all that's it for this one and I hope you're having a good day and I wish I had room because I would take this extra potty with me because maybe somebody could use it I know they have giveaways at the RTR so I might just lug it anyway but y'all have a good one. Try to be nice. I try. I don't always succeed. Bye, y'all.